welcome to my health channel in this video i want to explain why female anopheles mosquito cause malaria while male anopheles mosquito do not cause malaria why female anopheles mosquito cause malaria while male does, does not so if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe for more healthy videos first of all malaria is a very common disease which is called which is called by which is caused by female anopheles mosquito so why does only female anopheles mosquito cause malaria while male does not first of all male uh, male mosquitoes do not have blood sucking mouth parts so if they, if they don't have blood sucking mouth parts it means that they cannot go to someone and suck blood but female anopheles mosquito they have blood sucking mouth parts so they inject their pro their proboscis into their skin and then they suck blood but through doing that they'll be also transmitting or they'll be also producing sporozoids so sporozoids they will go they'll affect the liver the chemotactic response they affect the liver they'll be feeding red blood cells there they'll be feeding on the oxygen and the process continue until people get malaria so the main reason is that male, male mosquitoes do not have blood sucking mouth parts as i said that malaria is a very common disease and we have different drugs which are used to cure malaria we have primaquine we have quinine we have chloroquine we have doxycycline we have tetracycline and so many medication but in pregnant if if you if pregnant women women they get malaria we have first of all you must do blood smear so that you can know the specific plasmodium which cause malaria because we have plasmodium plasmodium malaria we have plasmodium vivax and also we have plasmodium fasparum but in in a clinical setting the most common plasmodium which causes malaria is plasmodium fasparum so we treat malaria in pregnant women according to gestation age we have first we have, according to trimester we have first trimester second trimester and third trimester for people who have for pregnant women who have who are infected with plasmodium vivax we give chloroquine until they deliver but for pregnant women in the first trimester we give quinine and clindamycin but in third trimester and second trimester we give aru and why don't you give quinine in the third trimester because if you give quinine if you give quinine medication in third trimester pregnant women they will get uterine contraction in third trimester so that is why it is contraindicated in third trimester but it is very useful in in the first trimester but make sure that we have diagnosed that the, the pregnant women they have plasmodium fasparum so thank you for being with me don't forget to subscribe my channel don't forget to like don't forget to comment for more healthy videos thank you